if you only knew God the life giver. I was like a box, a box that had the ability to hold things inside, a box that was void of any substance, a box that was considered nothing. Being in the world, this poor and insignificant box had the chance to hold viable things inside. It was tossed here and there in the winds of this world, trouble. Little by little, this little insignificant box was being filled with filth as the days went by. It had moments of bad choices that led to it being very ugly on the inside, though it appeared clean on the outside, filled with rubble, dirt, and debris. Oh, how deceiving this little box was that looked so well on the outside but hid the filth that was hidden deep within. Now that the time has passed, this little box was filled to the brim with ugly things, unfit to keep but deserving to be thrown in the trash. But someone came and saw this little box and had pity on it. They removed all the dirt, all the rubble, and all the debris from this box until it was clean and new again. They thought it so fitting to hold treasure inside this little insignificant box. This treasure was the treasure of all treasures that was placed in this box. Now, the box has so much joy because of the kindness of the one who decided to make this box valuable with this precious treasure inside. That treasure is Jesus Christ. I'm the one that was filled with all kinds of sins that I became so ugly on the inside. I hid my ugliness from others out of my guilt and shame of judgment. Pride, boasting, lust, selfishness, greed, immorality, impurity, envy, jealousy, gossip, and other sins. I was dead in sin, going to one place. But how merciful is the one that looked upon me with compassion. He wiped away my past account of sinful deeds and made me new in his son, Jesus, the help of our precious Heavenly Father. It is true in the scriptures that said, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. John chapter 3 verse 16 That life is in Jesus Christ. He is my life giver. My beloved Jesus provides me with so much life just by the Eucharistic sacrament, also known as communion service or the Lord's Supper. Jesus' body and blood strengthens me from my past failures. I believe in my heart that he provides me with life that no one else can give. I trust him completely to fill me up where I am lacking in becoming like him. He says, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. John chapter 6 verse 53 Jesus also said, But as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. John chapter 5 verse 26 Not only does Jesus give life in the Eucharistic sacrament, he also gives me life in a vibrant relationship with him. In our daily dialogues together, he reminds me of who I am and he picks me up on my feet when I am feeling down. Jesus is so in tune to my every thought, emotions, and words until we are one. When I tell you our Jesus has some humor, I mean it. I love to talk to him. He is like a best friend that's with you wherever you go. I tell you truly, if he wants me to laugh when I am inwardly aching, he has a way of laughing through me so I won't feel sad. The joy of the Lord is truly my strength because He is joyful from within me. He can speak through me in times of need and in different circumstances. We take walks together to fulfill 
what he would want me to do in and through me. It is so life-giving to have that type of relationship. How precious is he? To me, it's like a missing puzzle piece that God wants to fill in us because we were made for him and by him for his good pleasure. Oh, how I want you all to experience this life-giving God. So kind, so compassionate, so merciful, so caring, so powerful, so wonderful is He. Let us stay connected to the life giver Himself, for we are nothing without Him. I will end this with a final word from the Bible. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. John chapter 15 verse 5. God bless you family.